everyone, I'm Nolene Hunter. Once again, it's good to be back with you from Colombo on the Sri Lanka Morning Show. Well, today I meet personalities who are an intrinsic part of the spectacular musical event, Arise Sri Lanka, which was staged recently as a prelude to the much-awaited telethon to recognize the selfless efforts of the frontline health workers in Sri Lanka. I'd like you to meet the man responsible for the concept and organization of this mega musical, the director and producer of Arise Sri Lanka, Richard de Souza, who has worked tirelessly behind the scenes to make this a reality. Richard, what made you conceive the idea for this mega musical extravaganza that will culminate in the telethon that you have planned? Actually, three major factors motivated me to produce and direct the Rise Sri Lanka. Firstly, Sri Lanka is a resilient country which tackles various crises uh, in their own way and they handle this pandemic uh, with a lot of courage, with a lot of political leadership, uh, with a lot of commitment from the armed services and of course the fearless health workers. So they had to be recognized. They had to be recognized and we had, a, we had to have a medium to show the world what they actually did. Secondly, the musicians who are absolutely talented and I would say are ranked amongst the best in the world. People should know how talented we are and how talented uh, we are at Western music and give them a small taste uh, of our culture and our Eastern music as well. And lastly, I have a huge passion for music and I enjoy putting together shows of this magnitude. Very worthy and commendable reasons indeed. Now tell me how you plan to operate this telethon. We were not actually able to fulfill our obligations uh, to our initiative on the first occasion on the 29th. So therefore, uh, Sampat Srivodhana, the GM of uh, Galadari, felt for our efforts and he gave us a venue, FOC, to do this telethon in a properly organized manner with all the government approvals, which, uh, which was being uh, delayed due to the government bureaucracy. And even a presidential advisor who was present at the show assured us that all, all the doors will open and we will freely achieve our objectives, our ancillary objectives and the main objectives to conduct uh, a brilliant telethon which will benefit all the COVID-19 frontline workers as well as Project Sri Lanka as a tourist destination once our doors open uh, and, and our po points of entry are opened very, very, uh, in a very safe atmosphere. Well, judging by the spectacular prelude that was staged recently, I'm sure you'll achieve your objectives through the telethon that is scheduled for the 25th of October. Thank you, Richard, for joining us today. And now we meet one of the frontline health workers who is a doctor and a singer as well, Dr. Nilanka Wickramasinghe. Singing my life with his words Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his song Telling my whole life with his Dr. Nalanka, you have received many bouquets and compliments for your performance at Arise Sri Lanka. How do you balance your singing and your work as a medical practitioner, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic? Um, music, medicine, uh, I can do those things together because when I do make music, I feel energized, I feel relaxed, I feel happy. And that makes me do my medicine, uh, my academic life better. And I, like you said, I have to balance these two careers as well as my family life. And for that, my family support is there. And that is my husband, my parents, my in-laws, they all pitch in to help me. And from my point of view, 
I also I uh, plan well ahead. I have goals. I have timelines. And if I do a project, be it music, medicine, anything, I try to do my hundred percent to it. I finish it off as quickly as possible. So that's how I try to do my time management. Covid times it was quite tough because we had to homeschool the kids. But like I said before, with uh, my family as a team, we managed to do it. Thank you, Dr. Nilanka. Next, we meet one of Sri Lanka's popular personalities who was very much a part of Arrive Sri Lanka as a singer, co-hosting the show with me, and he's also the leader and manager of his group, The Experiments. Sohan Veera Singha, of course. Sohan, what are your observations about the show? It was a very, very enjoyable day. We all got together for a very good cause. To, as a tribute to our first responders. The atmosphere was electric and all the artists got together and they didn't look at it as somebody's show, it was our show. They were dedicated and the bands and the artists got together and did a fantastic job. And it was lovely to be on the show and it was lovely to interact in with all those artists. And for me, the bonus was uh, co-hosting the show with you. I hope there will be many more shows like this in the future. <laughs> Well, Sohan really did get the audience moving with that one. We now meet a multi-award winning journalist attached to the island newspaper. He recently was the recipient of two international awards for excellence in his field, Ivan Alves. Ivan, uh, you have provided a great deal of publicity for this event. And as a committee member of Arise Sri Lanka, how do you believe this telethon will meet its objectives? First, let's look at the concept of this fundraiser. One must remember that Arise Sri Lanka is a fundraiser totally different and let's say most definitely a unique project in every way. Sri Lankans have never ever experienced such as seen before, never. Uh, and then the objective of this teleton, and that is something we have always got to keep in mind. Yes. We all need to take notice of the contribution made by our frontliners in tackling COVID-19. And Arise Sri Lanka is certainly a unique way of showing our gratitude to the folks involved. And this is what I believe most Sri Lankans, if not all, will keep in mind. I'm therefore quite certain, Noelin, that the generosity of Sri Lankans will reach its peak or, or, or let me say will arise when the lines are open for donation and pledging. Yes indeed, the success of this telethon will depend on your contributions towards the health workers of Sri Lanka. And before we close, I'd like to feature the finale for the show where the music was composed and the musical arrangements were done by Melanta Pereira and the lyrics were by yours truly. Nine leading artists performed the song live at the show. Here's that clip titled Arise. A new song to be sung. A melody that will turn our lives around. A consolation, our lives are upside down. Together, and we will come around.
success with your contribution to say thank you to the selfless health workers of Sri Lanka and thank you for joining me on the Sri Lanka morning show today stay safe and goodbye for now sing a brand new song yes together we can do it you and me